Okay, Tribe. So I'm going to take a deep breath, and then I have pulled some tarot cards for tonight, and I'll interpret those. And then if we don't have any other questions after that, we'll seal our circle. So let me just take a breath to ground in. Asking the universe to bring through from the messages in these cards whatever needs to be spoken out to all who are tuning in tonight to this circle and all that tune in in the future. Okay. And letting, you know, the star of 100 medicines and 100 healers come through these cards tonight because I find the cards to be so healing. I don't know about you, but the cards are really healing to me. They really provide me messages. And I even have a couple of clients who message me and they're like, can you please just do a card reading really quick for whatever question? And I do that by the way. <laughs> so if you ever need a card reading, um, let me know. I do those. And so I pulled three cards from the crystal power to row tonight. I thought it would be good to work with crystal energy, considering that we're working with things more in the spiritual and metaphysical with this Pisces moon. And if any of the crystals on these cards really speak to you or stand out to you, know that this would be a great crystal to get during this full moon, charge with the full moonlight, and then use over the rest of this lunar cycle. Um, so you don't always have to like work with the full moon exactly on the day of its fullest expression. Tonight, the full moon is rising. It'll be at its fullest expression at 1222 a.m. Central Time. But it's still good for a couple of days after that. So if one of these crystals resonates with you, get it tomorrow. Stick it under the full moon tomorrow night. Charge it up for your use. So I always pull a past, present, and future card. And the past card tonight was the card Justice. So I'll show this really beautiful card. I love this deck. So this is Justice, and you can see that she's holding the scales there. And she's also got a sword. So the sword represents cutting ties with what no longer serves, right? That separation that we talked about, setting those boundaries. And then the scales represent balance. So how can you balance out your life right now, right? I mentioned that we were in this Virgo energy, the go, 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 get it done, make the list, check it twice, check it off move on to the next project and the next project we will burn out if we're always in that energy even if it's working towards our dreams if we're always putting the doing energy towards it we will burn out so this justice card is asking us to find balance to take time off to play to create to daydream to let yourself be inspired from the other side for a while instead of just from the earthly side of things. She's also holding in the scales, you'll see that all seven chakras are there. And this does remind us to stay balanced within our energy centers as well. So we need to have balance between our earthly world and our spiritual world. So making sure that we tune into whatever our spirituality is, whatever our medicine is to help us to find that emotional and energetic stability. There is a throne that she's sitting upon. This does remind you to put yourself first. And this has kind of been an underlying theme in the past few moons. But to put yourself first, to put your joy first, to put your pleasure first. Because if you want that dream life where all those things are happening, you have to start doing it now. So make sure that you're taking time for yourself here. The, there's a mantra on this card, and it says, I speak my truth in fairness to myself. Remember what I said earlier about being truthful to yourself, to let this veiling star unveil the truth within you and let yourself be honest with yourself and say, this is not working for me anymore. This relationship is not working for me anymore. This job is not working for me anymore. This routine that I have is not working for me anymore. You don't have to be the same all the time forever. Make the shifts that you need to make. So the crystal on this card is sodalite. Sodalite, S-O-D-A-L-I-T-E. And this works with the throat chakra. So if you are currently having trouble expressing your truest self, expressing that honesty, making the changes with what comes up, or just expressing yourself as a whole, um, your needs, your wants, your desires, you might wanna bring some soul to light into your life right now. By the way, this card is represented by the number eight, and eight is the sign of infinity. 
So just knowing also that your energy is infinite, your potential is infinite, and your dreams are infinite. Anything that you want to create in this life can be a possibility. Take the baby steps to put in the pieces that you can now and watch what happens. So for our present card right now, I pulled the lovers. And here they are. So the sun is behind them, and we do have the sun illuminating the moon right now. You can see that they're holding a heart in between them. They're not intertwined, and so this card does represent that there's still a commitment or a decision to be made. Now, this might be in an actual marriage or, you know, romantic relationship. So if you're in some sort of romantic relationship right now and there's a decision that needs to be made in that relationship or some sort of shift, maybe a boundary that needs to be set or some tie that needs to be cut, um, it's time to start making that. It's time to spend the next two weeks or spend this full moon energy making that commitment, making that decision, or making that separation, whatever may be. Um, there's a lot of yellow and pink roses on this card. And there's a little bit of lavender as well. So it's just reminding us to kind of live this peaceful life, moving from our heart as much as possible. We, again, have a lot going on in the world right now, a lot of uncertainty, a lot of information, and we can tend to live in our head more, especially with the full moon when prana is heightened, gravity is weaker on the earth, we're pulled up into our head, and we can start to overanalyze things. Pisces being related to the ocean can be a very wide spectrum of, um, of emotions in itself. So it, you could be feeling all over the place right now and know that the more you learn to breathe into your heart, to move from your heart and to live from your heart, the more peaceful that will be. I think it's a general reminder too, just to take some deep breaths right now, because when we live out of our heart chakra, it's our air element and we learn to just breathe and be at peace with everything going on. Uh, the mantra right now on this card says, I trust my knowing and I make a commitment. This kind of goes back with our truth, right? Being fair to ourselves. Like we trust that we know what we need to do, right? Our inner guides and our outer guides let us know what we need to do to align with our best self, to align with our dream life. But we have to make the commitment to shift. We have to make the commitment to separate ourselves or make the change or do something different. So this is the present card and this is where you're standing right now. You're kind of at this crossroads. Where do you want to go from here? Or do you want to move toward this more joyful, heartfelt life? Do you want to create more love in your life and more abundance? All this yellow is solar plexus, which is confidence and abundance as well. Um, you know, really start to trust and have that faith that it can be that way. Uh, this card is represented by the rose quartz as well. In addition to all those roses around, rose quartz works with your heart chakra. So if this is something you need to work on right now, you might want to bring in rose quartz. Also, if you're in some sort of romantic relationship, um, if you're working on fertility, rose quartz is really good for those. If you're pregnant right now, rose quartz can help protect excuse me, can help protect you. And Rose Quartz is really good for helping us to live a life of compassion and live more out of our heart and move more out of our heart rather than our mind. For the future card, I pulled the Hierophant. So she's a, she's a wisdom keeper, the Hierophant. And you can see that she's got this lotus flower down here. She's got an open book. There's a key floating around. And she is reminding us that there's so much wisdom out there. So much still to be learned. So much to still understand. And it's important to know that whatever you feel is your truth is correct, right? It doesn't matter if anybody else understands it or not, right? Whatever is your medicine, whatever is your spirituality, whatever feels good for you, whatever is your truth, it is your truth. So know that you have a lot of wisdom inside of you and a lot of guidance that's going to be coming through right now. But also open yourself up to the possibilities of wisdom coming in from elsewhere. Remember I mentioned that you might come across 
like a new way of doing something in the next two weeks, or you might be inspired to do something differently, or you might pull out an old tool that you used to use in your practices and it becomes useful again. You might learn a new tool. Just be open to whatever comes through. The lotus that she's got here, I think that this represents Saraswati, the goddess Saraswati, which is the goddess of knowledge and education and art as well. We're being asked to be creative right now. I mentioned that you could create art during this new moon. Or I'm sorry, during this full moon, you can create art and you can color and you can paint. You can use your imagination. Um, so know that you have the possibility to really tap into that right now and it can be really useful to you. This key up here is just letting you know that um, the key to unlocking your future is right here, right now, and it's hovering right in front of you. You just have to open yourself up to whatever you need to do to reach that door and unlock that door into your future. So be open to everything that comes right now. Be open to the guidance that's coming from the other side. Pay attention to your dreams. Your dreams can be really powerful right now. This is represented by the number five, which always means growth. Five is an angel number for growth and expansion. And the mantra here is, I am ready to love and to learn. So I think that pretty much speaks for itself. Uh, the stone on this card is amethyst. And I mentioned that we have amethyst tonight in our moon circle, right? Amethyst. So amethyst works with your third eye chakra. It helps to open up your spiritual chakras and it helps you to open up to what's on the other side that needs to reach you. This is a really great stone to use in meditation. So if you're trying to develop a stronger meditation practice, or if you just wanna have uh, messages come through in your meditation, you might wanna use amethyst for that as well. Okay, so those are our three cards there. And then I also pulled just a basic tarot card tonight because I felt like we needed like an overlying card for the theme of this big shift that we're going into right now. So this is something I haven't mentioned yet, and it's not really to do with the moon, but we've had a lot of planets in retrograde over the past six months. And Saturn and Jupiter are still in retrograde, but they're going to be stationing direct this month in September. And it's been quite a journey with both of those planets. So Saturn is the planet of karmic lessons. So big lessons that we learn in life that help us to evolve and like not make the same mistake again or become a better person out of the situation. That's the, the planet. Uh, Saturn is the planetary influence of that. So I think we're all learning big lessons <laughs> right now, right? With this year, we're making big shifts and there's a lot of wisdom that's coming through. So know that, you know, the Saturn planet's going to station direct and that's going to give us a lot of wisdom, kind of bigger picture stuff of what we've been through over the past year. Jupiter is the planet of expansion and growth and it has been in retrograde and good Lord, 2020 was not the year for us to make the growth and changes, right? <laughs> It was a time to retract and withdraw and start over and analyze what's been happening so far. What the heck has been going on? So Jupiter has been in retrograde. It's going direct here in September. So again, we're finally going to be able to move forward towards our growth, towards our expansion, towards our dreams, towards our joy, towards our happiness. There is happiness on the other side of things. Okay. So these are the planetary influences that are going on right now as well. And so with that, with that influence of like, what is going on right now, I ended up pulling the king of pentacles. And I've pulled a lot of pentacle cards in the past few moon circles. So you can see here, he's sitting on his throne. He's got the sun or the pentacle in his lap. And he's cloaked in orange. And orange is the color of the sacral chakra. So although this is a king, this is masculine energy and surrounded by yellow, which is total solar plexus, holding the sun, solar plexus. The orange reminds us to be mindful of our emotions as well. So the king of pentacles is actually a very logical king. He rules with ease. Um, he's very practical. We've been in this Virgo practical energy, but he's also a problem solver. Um, in fact, there could be legal issues that um, get solved at this time. So remember, we also had the justice card, which could also be legal issues. So if you have any legal issues going on right now, that might 
um, start to resolve itself. But there's also just kind of a problem solver energy that's coming through. And so I really do think as we move forward into September and some of these planets come out of retrograde, I really think we're going to start to understand more about what is going on in our world. We're going to have a lot of answers in regards to this virus that's going on. We're going to have a lot of answers as far as our government and politics around the world, you know, not just here in the United States where I am. There's a lot of political shifts happening right now, a lot of uncertainty right now, but some of those answers are going to start to come over the next month or so. The King of Pentacles reminds us that it's all good. It is all good. It is all good on the other side of things. The abundance is there. The joy is there. The happiness is there. I promise. We just have to have faith. Remember, faith is a great word for this moon right now. So have a lot of faith in what's to come because it is all good. And we're going to have kind of a new world, right? We're going to have a new way of ruling, a new way of doing things, a whole new normal. But know that it's going to be for the best for us. So I'll just put these cards up one more time so that you see them. For the past, justice. This does make me also think there's a lot of like um, equality matters coming to heart right now. And there's a lot of justice being served around equality, which is nice too. But just holding balance, cutting ties where you need to, finding where you need to be balanced, putting yourself first and speaking your truth about your wants, needs, and desires. So delight to strengthen that throat chakra. The lovers for our present card, what commitment do you need to make? What decision do you need to make in your relationship, romantically, work, family, social, whatever it may be? What are the decisions and commitments that you need to make now to truly shift towards a life that's heartfelt, full of joy, a life that you really love? Rose quartz to strengthen your heart chakra and move from these places where your desires manifest. For the future, the Hierophant, the Wisdom Keeper, the one who wants to continue to learn and be open to new possibilities. There's so much knowledge coming to us, so much more that we are yet to understand. It's okay if we only understand it to ourselves now and nobody else does. Trust in whatever wisdom is truth to you. Find your spirituality and find your medicine. And amethyst can help you with your third eye and your intuition along the way with your spiritual practices. And then finally, the king of pentacles, letting us know that it's all good on the other side of things. The future is bright. The future is abundant and prosperous, full of joy. Just hold faith. It's all coming. Hmm. Okay, sister. So I'm just going to grab one more drink. And if you want to put anything in the chat, please feel free. Otherwise, we're simply going to take a few breaths and seal our circle tonight. I hope that these cards have served you. I will put out a tarot reading and write about these cards tomorrow so that you could, <clears throat> excuse me, so that you can read more about them. Um, and sometimes things come through more when I write anyway. So I'll do that with my morning pages tomorrow. Um, let me check the chat and make sure nobody has any questions. Everybody's good. Okay, great. Perfect. Okay, try. So I think with that, we'll just take a few deep breaths. Where did I go? Why is my camera not on? <laughs> I don't know what happened to my camera. That's weird. <laughs> I'm back. Okay. So let's seal our circle with just a few deep breaths here. Again, sitting tall, coming back, reground, connect to earth. Close your eyes. Let's take a deep breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth. And again, in through the nose. Out through the mouth. 
One more time, releasing any tension that's left. <sighs> Blinking the eyes open. Blessings be to you on this full moon in Pisces. Thank you so much for joining me, whether this be live or on the replay later. Reminder to set out your crystals, to charge up some moon water if that feels good. Set out your card decks, any of your woo that you want to charge up for the moon. Here it's been raining. You don't have to set things outside. You can put them just where the moonlight comes in through your windows. It's okay if it's cloudy. The moon's energy is still here. It will still charge all of your wonderful things that you set outside. Make sure that you are paying attention to your dreams, all the messages that come through in the next few nights with this full moon energy, and pay attention to your dreams when you are awake. What dream life are you ready to create right now? What bits and pieces of joy, pleasure, and fun can you bring into your life right now? How can you make sure that your life is good vibes only? Start making those shifts and commitments now. Okay, loves, thank you so much. I am going to blow out our candle. And now our circle is done. I hope you all have a beautiful evening. This replay will be available tomorrow on YouTube and my website. And have a beautiful full moon. Namaste.